soul of lust. What would pleasure be if it were not accompanied by crime? It is not the object of debauchery that excites us, rather the idea of evil. Marcus de Sade, a quite remarkable man. You know, you could have easily saved yourself. What are you talking about? Approximately 5 minutes 32 seconds ago, you heard a shout. Ah! At which point, you proceeded to take three steps towards the victim. You then grimaced and turned around and walked away <laughs> from the dying, helpless man. <laughs> and people will call me the sicko. If you'd have checked up on this victim of mine, I'd have spared your life. After all, in recent times, what do you do when you see a theft on the side of the road? Stop the sicko! You cross the road no, to the other no, side! No, Were you stalking me? The definition of a stalker is someone who prowls or sneaks about, usually with unlawful intentions. Now you just got to hope that some good Samaritan will come and help you when you're bleeding to death. Consider the problem from the point of view of evil, evil being almost always pleasure's true and major charm. Considered thus, the crime must appear greater when perpetrated upon a being of your identical sort than inflicted upon one which is not. And this, once established, the delight automatically doubles. Marcus de Sade soldier, writer and aristocrat, from whose name derives the term sadist. <laughs>